what's going on so today is thursday and we are getting some errands done completed whatever you want to call it i'm actually going to take my sunglasses off i walked out with them on but it is gloomy and i'm gonna put some hand lotion on um we have errands to run y'all so i hope you guys are doing well i'm doing amazing um i worked a little bit today but i also have a hair appointment so that's where i'm headed now I have a hair appointment and i have a nail appointment so we're gonna go see fran first and then i'm gonna go see nancy um right after the kids have a they were invited to my cousin invited us to um my little cousin her daughter's birthday party on sunday We've already RSVP'd, but I think Caden is going to have to skip because he is going over my mom's house Friday, I believe. Is it Friday or Saturday that he's going over there? I have to double check. Um, but yeah, he's going over her house, so he um, he more than likely won't be able to go, which is okay. Um, Cam's going to go and have a good time, of course. So that'll be fun. So what I need to do now is um, after I get my nails done, I'm going to go and um, pick her gift up. I already ordered it from Target. Um, we ordered her two things. I just need to pick it up. And bags or a bag and some tissue paper. Or I think I may have some tissue paper at home and cards or a card from us so yeah that's what's on my agenda today it is not even four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm hoping that I could be done in the next four hours so by eight o'clock I should be home um and I have some stuff that I want to share with you guys so that's what's on the agenda for today um i think an appointment in two weeks but i'm trying to determine what i'm gonna do with my hair for our vacation i definitely don't think i'm gonna wear wear it like curled or anything like that i think i'm gonna do some crochet braids because we're gonna be going to the beach it's gonna be hot humid stuff like that so i just feel like there is no need for me to um have it like this i think i should um get it either braided or crochet braided i think i'm gonna go for crochet braids but we'll see but let me pull my wallet out because i am also thirsty so i'm actually gonna stop at this gas station and get myself something to drink um my wallet and then i am going to head to the nail shop y'all so we are home and i wanted to share with you guys some things that i have picked up 
probably in the last one of these things I've had for almost a month. We're going to talk about that first. But the other stuff, like the Nordstrom stuff, uh, the item I picked up from Old Navy, even the items that I picked up today have been like in the last week. So I'll share those with you guys in a minute. But this is for my coffee lovers. This portion of the video is for my coffee lovers. If you guys know me, you know I love coffee. If you follow me on Instagram, if you've been watching my vlogs for any amount of time, you know I love coffee. Y'all, the last three weeks I have been in iced coffee heaven. I have been using this Javi Microdose Coffee Concentrate. A few of you guys saw me mention this on Instagram and have reached out and asked me about it and I've sent you all the information and I'm gonna leave all of their information below. I wanna thank Javi Coffee for sponsoring this portion of the video. Y'all, I love this coffee. So you can do it like hot or you can do it cold. I highly prefer it cold. I tried it hot. I still prefer my Nespresso, but iced, y'all, this is blowing Starbucks out the water. First of all, you can customize it to how you like it. Because it's a coffee concentrate, you can kind of control the strength. I like mine a little stronger when I show you guys how I make mine. You'll see what I'm speaking to. Um, but it's 100% Arabic coffee, artesian roasted. You get 30 servings in a six ounce bottle. So that's about... For me, I'm like halfway through and I've been using it for about three weeks. Now, given I don't drink an iced coffee every single day, but I will say for the last part of January and the entire month of February, this is all I have been drinking when it comes to iced coffee. I have not used my Nespresso at all they have flavors so if you check out their website which i'm going to leave all their information below because they did take the liberty of also leaving you all a 15 percent discount which i will leave link below and i will leave that coupon code across the screen for you guys if you check out the website they have different flavors like i said a mocha caramel um french vanilla this is just a standard which i'm so grateful for because i like to add different flavors caramel syrup vanilla syrup different kinds of creamers. So I'm going to show you guys how I make mine and I'm gonna leave everything linked below for you, right, guys. you guys. So this is how I make my Javi coffee concentrate. I always do an ice version. Like I said, you can definitely use it in a hot version, but that's not how I personally prefer. I feel like it tastes really, really good ice. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I like to use. Of course, you're gonna need some ice. I use just a bottled water. Uh, some sugar-free French vanilla syrup. This is the Tarani version. It's my favorite. Normally, I use either one of these creamers, but in all honesty, there's literally like a drain of this left and I just want to use it. Um, so the Chalbani Oak or the Silk Almond doesn't really matter. And then, of course, you need your Javi Concentrate. So first things first, what I like to do is take the syrup and I'll go ahead and pour just a little bit in. And then I like to fill it with the amount of water I'm going to want, which is about that much. And then I take my Javi Concentrate and I like to shake mine up. In the instructions on the back, it calls for one to two teaspoons. But I'm going to be honest, you guys, I like a bit of strength to my coffee. And so I actually use a full tablespoon and a half. So let me show you. Okay, and then once it's just the syrup and coffee concentrate, I like to go in with the ice. And then from here, I just like to add my creamer. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of both. And I just add a straw and then I stir it up, you guys. So good. All right, you guys. So that is how I make my Javi iced coffee. Again, everything will be linked for you guys below. Let's jump into what I picked up right. today. So y'all saw earlier, I went to 
Little Lidal. I don't know how to pronounce them. I really don't. But I'll leave it linked like across the screen. I am redoing our like laundry room. It just looks, it's not even a laundry room, it's a laundry area. But it just looks atrocious. And so y'all know in my kitchen, like the counters, and I don't like it. Trust me, I don't. But I the like the countertops and everything are this like bamboo-y type and the laundry area is in the kitchen so I'm thinking this bamboo and white um like decor and I'm gonna add some greenery I'll show you guys how I do it but basically they had these on sale for five dollars and I wanted to keep our dryer balls in here and then our dryer sheets in here so it's aesthetically pleasing. I'll show you guys how I set it up, but they were only $5 a piece. So I specifically went in there for those and left. I didn't look at anything, touch anything. I just got those and left. Next up is an item, just one thing that I picked up from Old Navy. Y'all know how I feel about Old Navy jeans. I picked up a pair of just straight leg jeans. And then last up, I just got something from, a few things from Nordstrom, um, some body suits. So, these were on sale. These are by the BP brand. And I just got all of them in a size medium. Just these thong bodysuits. These are so good with like linen pants, shorts, um, those jeans, you know, easy peasy, basic. Um, and they were on sale. They were marked down from 12 to 6. So I got a black one. And I got a white one. Yeah, they were $12, but I only paid six. And I got one in white. This one is like a different like line, like neckline. And I actually like it. I tried it on. I really, really like it. And again, I got them all in a medium. They're all just like these thong body suits which i'm not really a huge fan of but they look good in your like clothing you know i'm not a huge fan of them though like just getting in and out of them but whatever um they're gonna look cute for the spring and summer i'm a neutrals girl as y'all can see i don't i don't wear a lot for the price and they were all six dollars a piece every single one of them so i would try to leave them linked below i know some of you were telling me you were going to get the shorts when i got them for ten dollars and they had marked them back up to 14 they were originally like 29 so check out Nordstrom right now they've been running a lot of little sales so if you're like me and you kind of like to get your spring and summer stuff off season so you can buy all or spend all your money on your kids check out Nordstrom Nordstrom rack um sacks outfit they're having a lot of little sales if you're looking for clothes sundresses sandals things like that i have been tearing them up and i'll be sharing other things later but i've definitely been doing a lot of off-season shopping um so i hope y'all enjoyed spending the day with me um wasn't too much going on it's actually raining and the weather's kind of bad so yeah but definitely you guys check out javi coffee i love this y'all i promise you you will not be disappointed with this i promise so good if you're a coffee lover definitely check this out i'll see y'all in my next video i'm tired y'all at this point it's a little after nine and i'm sleepy <laughs> so i'm gonna wrap my hair and get myself together did i show y'all my nails i love them nancy always does an amazing job and a lot of y'all ask uh, what service I use. I get SNS. If y'all didn't know, I always get dipping powder. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next one. Happy Friday because this is going up in the morning. Okay, y'all. I'm done rambling. Bye.